Hindi umuulan, ambon-ambon lang nung pumarking ako. Bigla bumuhos yung ulan. Buti nilang, ready tayo lagi with payong sa kotse. Second quarter officially underway. Maraming salamat sa inyong panonood. Anton Rojas alongside Bo Belga. And we also have Kina Pable at courtside. Sagos Cuenco. Inside pass. Ignyane bitin. And a steal by who else? Clint Escamis. Yung specialty naman ni Clint Escamis. Anticipating those passes. Still, tinuloy-tuloy niya na yun. Ganda sana nung hanap ni Cuenco kanina ni Ignyane. Kaya lang... Mababa yung pagkakahanan sa mo. Bakud falling down. Ayun na mga. Jude Bagay. Nakarami na si Bagay dito. Puro ganyan lang. Puro putbak-putbak lang. Kasi yung punang skill ni Stamis. Sinuloy-tuloy niya off the screen by Bagay. Ay ni Ryan. Ito naman yung rebound by Bagay. Putbak in one. Mangubat, nagbabalik sa ating laro. Mangubat, just taking one shot so far. Three-point play, nakompleto ni Jude Bagay. Generals trying to go on a three-game winning streak. Pulit ni Lucero itong si Bagay. Cuenco. Iyon naman. Basket counts. Kung kanina, dinis niya yung atake niya doon. Dito naman, tinuloy-tuloy niya. Plus a foul. Para dito kay Cuenco. Ibalita muna tayo kay Kayla Fabre. Anton and Bo, you mentioned that during their last game against the JRU Heavy Bombers, Yam Concepcion was a key piece in propelling his team to victory. Now when I asked him what motivates him to play the way he does, his answer was short and sweet. I only want one thing and that is to make history. Now, in the absence of JC Recto, Concepcion has had to step up, especially having to fill in JC's role on the inside and the energy he brings to the court. Fortunate enough for the Cardinals, he has been successful in that task. Now speaking of JC Recto, he admits that while his morale was down during the six games that he was out, he has had full trust in his team, especially Yam and Noel, to win without him. Although he is still recovering and not yet at 100%, he will give this game his maximum effort. That's all from court side. Back to you, Anton. Thank you very much, Kayla. So, during the first four games na naglaro si JC, Mapua was 3-1. and one. Without JC, they were 4-2. and two. So, not bad. Bakod. Kung baga, hindi na masama yung in the absence of JC Recto, yung group niya still in good, in good hands. Kung baga. Cuenco. They were just running a simple ball screen on top. Tapos pagka nag-switch, nag ina-attack nito ni Cuenco. Ayun. As simple as that. Pinaglaruan lang ni oh. Cyrus Cuenco. Parang on their three possessions, they were just running a simple ball screen on top between uh, Cuenco and Ryan. Tapos pag nag-switch, kuha ni Cuenco. Ito naman si Kina. Hindi mo pwedeng iwan ng ganyang ka libre yan. Kung sa tres nga, Simple, simple para sa kanya. Yan pa kayang perimeter na yan. Cuenco has 8 points. Escamis has 7. Cyrus. Ryan tapping it to Cyrus Cuenco. Escamis from way out, offline. And at this early stage of our ball game 11 lead changes na ito para sa ball game natin ayun na naman si Bagay yeah, that's going to be a foul on Lucero mm -hmm. kung kanina naging successful siya dun sa unang atake niya na dinire-direcho ito yung atake ni Cuenco dinadahan-dahan niya lang eh ito naman yung pull up na ginagawa Balik Ito. si Gortiza tsaka si Pagsangan dito sa ballgame natin. Bo, magkasabay na. Escamis, Cuenco, at Recto. Ito, madaking problema na. <laughs> Let's see. If Recto will still get the touches. 
Igliane susubok mula sa kanto. Okay. Uh -huh. Last game niya pa sinusubukan yan. He was successful the last game. One, one out of three yata siya last game. Diyan sa corner na yan. Pero try niya ulit ngayon. And he was successful. Actually, Bo, just checking the stats, one out of five guy. Eh. Sa last game na yun. Last game. Pero hindi biruin mo yun, di ba? One out of five pa siya doon. So, so, samantalang yung first round natin, babahagya mo makita itong mga bigs ng ano. Even si Habonete. Oo, oh, nung una nga, dun sila, yun yung lamang nila. Oo, oh, eh. yung, yung tatlong yung three tatlong points three na yun. <laughs> lamang sila ng siyam. Isa kay Habonete, isa kay Igliane, tsaka isa dun sa isa si... Yung isang high flyer pa ni Coach Randy. Ready to shoot? Feet set? Igliane? Ito yung atake ni Mangubat sa corner na A1 si Baco dun. So Lawrence Mangubat will take the two free throws. Faces para kay Coach Gerson with Manacho tsaka itong si Jacob. Si Manacho napansin natin nung warm-ups kasi malak Kobe Bryant ang dati oh, ganito eh with the uh, <laughs> with, with the wristband wristband above the elbow oh. <laughs> medyo tahimik pa si King si King Murtisa dito sa boy uy ganyan yung Basa ni Cuenco sa likod. Escamis against Kinal. Escamis Ganda Kimbo. naman. Ganda naman yung pihit ni Clint Escamis na yun. And Escamis draws a foul sa aming pagbabalik. He will shoot too. Estrada is on the move. Estrada puts it up and in. So Jim Boy is on. Na tayo naka 30 points sa first quarter. Right now they're just pulled in. Montesilio surveys. Luna providing the screen again. Eight to shoot for now. Pull up jumper. Estrada with back to back baskets. Communication sa Ritland Defense kung bakit walang tao na nakasalit sa open field. Corner! Now we check out the girls here on our smile cam. There you go. Three-point lead in a very important matchup between two teams that figured in a close encounter in the first round. Just a three-point win for the Cardinals. Mm -hmm. And as we expected, uh, close game pa rin dahil dito. Apat lang alam na mapuwa with that free throw of Clint Scamis. So, Coach Randy Alcantara in his fifth season. You can only imagine what's going through Coach Randy's mind knowing na in the five years na, na sa NCAA siya, well, five years including this season, as we see this drive, dalawang beses siyang umabot sa finals. Pero hindi nila nakuha yung kampionato. Mm -hmm. So, dalawang beses na eh. So, third time could be a charm for them. That's why sinabi ni Concepcion, he wants to make history. Yun yung history na hinahabol nila. Uh, Posible na yun. And, hindi na masama for, uh, kumbaga sa resume mo yung, dala, out of the five times, dalawang beses ka nag-finals. Hindi, kumbaga, not bad at all. Pero yun nga, all of the, coaches, the teams in the NCAA, they want to win a championship. Iba yung 
masasabi ng champions ng champion ka in this season kung whatever season you are in iba pa rin yun tsaka ang NCAA championship dito sa collegiate level parang yun yung isa sa mga kulang na lang sa trophy chest nitong si coach Randy as we see this drive by Ochavo ooh So, Menyas agad ng unsportsman na. Buti nilang matibay itong si Manacho. Pagkabagsak na pagkabagsak, tayo agad. Hindi niya, hindi niya ininda. Kaya naman, lapitan agad yung mga kasama. Ganda ng hanap ni Ochavo. Uy! Aray ko po. Medyo... Not a good... medyo hindi maganda in short kasi nga it's not even aiming for a foul not even defending talagang nilabasan niya lang ng puwet itong si Manacho that's why the hour referee sa reviewing kaya nga medyo nagretaliate itong mga taga EAC dun sa incident na yun ooh One review. Basket count for General Banacho. This quality. Underman ng itong si Coach Randy sa bigs because Sabonete is out of is suspended. Andre Iglione is out of the play. Tapos, ito na mga si Iglione with that unsportsmanlike foul. Doon sa anong yon? Kita mo naman kasi talaga on the review na Edward Ryan replaces Medyo hindi Leone. ano hindi hindi pang regular foul eh. Free throw for diba? If it's a hard Russell. foul could be like ma, ma justify mo eh. pero yun talaga hindi. So he was out of the court disqualifying foul for Igliani. I hate to say it but this is the third straight game I've covered where a player was ejected. <laughs> so you you would think that these players would be more careful in the second round and with the developments that have been happening. Uh huh. Kasi nga, very important sa kanya dito eh. Kapag ka na-disqualified ka or na-thrown out ka, it's an automatic suspension eh. Diba? Unless you have a case to appeal it, pero on that instance, hindi mo pe pwedeng... Ewan ko, pag in-appeal pa nila ng mapuwa yun, I don't know. At Bo, mabigat yung mga kalaban ng Mapua sa susunod, Letran na. E malalaki yung mga bigs ng Letran. Uh -huh. Pero babalik naman na si Habonete next game. Ayun. Mas, mas uh, bibigat yung kanyang responsibilidad. For sure. Oh, For Conception sure. again. Ayan na naman si Conception. Buti na lang nandito yung Conception. Wala. Escamis, offensive rebound, mahubat. And that's a foul on Ochavo. Ochavo's asking for a review. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. They were asking for a review. Pero... Ito yung unang attempt. Biting lang. Pero si Concepcion yung nagbigay ng extra possession eh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sa tapik niya. Fast break na, na sana ng EAC eh. Na-deflect niya yung pasa na yun eh. Kung hindi niya na-deflect yun, dire-direcho. Fast break na naman yung EAC. Yun lang ang kagandahan mo dito sa Mapua. Pwede mo ngayon pagsabayin itong si, si Hubilia at si Concepcion with the absence of Igliane and Habonete. So, parang kumbaga, ganun pa rin. But not the height. Not the height wise. I wonder what Igliane was thinking with that. Kasi tumingin pa siya sa kanyang likod. Eh. Oh. Tapos talagang nag... Ano eh, he really bent over. Just yeah. th thankfully, walang nangyari dito kay uh, Manacho. Actually, yung mga bunot ni Coach Gerson na uh, mga bigs, they're responding. Itong si Jacob tsaka si Manacho. Pagsahan, oh. clearly fouled by Ryan. Uh -huh. Nasobrahan sa challenge dun si Ryan. Nabomb niya si Pagsahan. 
Very offensive minded itong si Pagsanghan niya. Oh. Kakakita niya na ball kick po ang wala ng drive drive eh. He's free. Ito yung challenge ni Ryan. Talagang foul. Ayun ang problema. Unang mintes ni Harvey. Mm -hmm. From the free throw Pero, line. They're doing a good job in free throws ngayon. Ha? 7 out of 10. 7 out of 11 with the miss of Pagsanghan. Ayun. So he matches his average now of a little bit over 9 points per game. And we're still here in the second quarter. Oh, one for three from the free throw line. Tindin ang depensa. Here's the double team. Naunahan ni Concepcion. Concepcion, pinasa kay Escamis. Escamis draws another foul. Mm -hmm. Pwede nang ilayab ni Concepcion yun. Kaya lang nabam siya dito sa likod. Na mali lang yung ano niya. Yung take off feet niya. Buti nakita niya si Escamis, Escamis dun sa baseline. Escamis now with 10 points. Escamis and Pagsanhan have 10 points each. Mm -hmm. Si Hubilia. Bo, andun pa rin sa tunnel. Nag-warm up. Dalawa kasi ang foul niya eh. Kaya siya nilabas muna ni Coach Randy. This is our sixth deadlock. That's how intense our ball game is. Six deadlock. 13 lead changes. Hindi naman nagtagal yung deadlock na yun dahil inatake agad sila ni Ochabo. And there's Chris Hubilia. Based on his body language, he can't wait to get back inside. Uh -huh. Ipapainit na dun sa may end of the po end of their court. Eh. Conception. Spin move. Drop pass. Extra pass. Mangubat for oh. three. Ganda nung atake ni Concepcion. Drop it off dito kay Ryan. Nahanap si Mang Uba doon sa may elbow side. Balikan namang sa Mapua. And we're back. Yes, it's a brand new edition of our awesome plays here in NCAA Season 100 Men's Basketball. Starting us off at number 10. Oh, good touch pass. Medina! A lefty reverse layup by JRU's main character, Jonathan Medina. At number nine. High octane basketball we're seeing so far. Oh! Basic para kay Kylo Chavo. Uh, ito yung unang atake ni Kylo Chavo para makuha yung kalamangan. Ito naman yung atake ni Concepcion. Rapas dito kay Ryan, papunta kay Mang Ubat sa may elbow tree. Hindi luma tumatagal yung kalamangan. Lumamang ng dalawa, gumante ng tatlo, di lamang na ulit ang mabuwa ngayon ng isa. Pang labing apat na lead changes na natin ito. Usually yung 14 lead changes na yan, pang buong laro na yan. <laughs> Pero dito, hindi pa natatapos yung first half natin with 3 minutes remaining dito sa first half. Ochavo. Pagsanhan. Manacho, nabitawa ng bola, gets it back. Manacho! Ayun naman. Manacho. Balik na naman sa kanila ang lamang. Ang ganda yung mga bunot ni Coach Gerson eh. Dito kay Manacho at kay Haku. And prior to this game, Manacho was only averaging 4 minutes per game. Uh -huh. Ayun nakaka... 8, 10 minutes na yata siya rito eh. Extended playing time for Manacho. Cuenco, derecho, and Manacho comes up with a rebound. Uy! Uy! Ganda nung pasa na yun. Sabi ni Coach Gerson, sandali lang. Relax lang. Kung guardiya ang nahabol 
doon baka sakali eto eto yung 100 ni Manacho sa may shaded area Kailo Chavo making plays for his team except this one oh. pero it was a good intention oh. for Kailo Chavo 41 to 40, pabor sa EAC. Ito na naman yung ball screen. Ina-attacke nila yung switch dun. Escamis, stop and go. Escamis! Oh! Escamis. What a play by Clint uh -huh. Escamis. Kung titignan mo yun, wala na eh. Wala na siyang pupuntahan. But he tend to take it all the way there. Luther sa kitna. Gortiza. Oy, ito naman. Panat. Ayun lang ang problema ng pangatlo na ni Yam Construction. Talagang inatake ni Guti sa doon. Ito yung atake ni Chris. Nadepensahan niya siya ni Guti sa eh. Maghahanap na siya actually ng pasa. Para, pero wala siyang makita. Ito naman yung atake ni Guti sa. And Guti sa finally gets on the board. Ang kanyang unang puntos. Dito sa laban na to. He had 21 points in the last game. At si Ubilia, ready nang bumalik. Oh, dahil tatlo na itong si Yam Concepcion. Pinasok na rin ni Coach Randy itong si Fermin. Para kay Ryan. Dito masusubukan kung gano'ng katiba yung bench ng Mapua. Without Egliani and Habonete, sino yung mag pa sa challenge ni Coach Randy? Mangubat, libre na naman. Just Ay, a little bit short. Si Uy! Oh, malakas so lang. Counter Pero steal. nakuha pa nila. Furman! Sorry, miss for wow. Furman. Pagsanhal, atake blocked by Escamis. Sayang. Doon pa lang sa unang rebound ni Concepcion. They already had a chance. Malakas lang. Ito yung atake ni Harvey. Good luck by Escamis. Malinis. Malinis na malinis. 42 all. Ilan dead luck na yan? 16 na. 16 dead luck na natin. First up pa lang tayo. Escamis. Puts on. After burners, Clint uh -huh. Escamis all the way. Fifteen points for the reigning MVP. Ubilia, ayun lang. Talagang ginagamit ni Coach Jerson yung mga yung bench niya rin. Ubo po sa harap na man yun. Dapat doon bigyan ng kape. Wow. Alam niyang kaka-aabuti siya ni Luristo eh. Kaya ginawa niya ng paraan sa taas talaga eh. Lubilia sinks the first free throw. Mm -hmm. Pagpasok na pagpasok, pagka-rebound, ratat itong si Lubilia. Gortiza together with Wilmar Kana, they will settle, checks back in for the EAC Generals, RJ Padalion, Sher Prescan Abdullah. Now here's a player that we rarely see Never from Mapua on. wearing jersey number Checking 21. This is si Pantelion. RJ Pantelion only played four games so far. Barely a minute, uh -huh. barely more than a minute. Nag naglaro itong si Pantalion. This is for no, for defensive purposes para kay Coach Randy. Oh, siya yung nakabantay kay Gurtiza. Oh! Yes, offense, defense substitution. Well, actually, nakadepensa pa rin, but they're preparing for offense if ever. Makakuha ng steal. Makakuha ng steal, oo. Kasi they still have 3 seconds na matitira. 
doon sa game clock natin. Uy! Inutaka ni Gurti sa itong si Mangubat. Inutaka ni... Diba? Hindi mo pwedeng i-cage na ganyan yan eh. Alam, yun, alam mo yung yung utak ng mga player na to. Diba? They will create an advantage. So, pag ganon, Bo, what's your advice for Mangubat? Hindi mo pwedeng i-cage eh. Yes, you need to just defend him honestly. Kasi pag kinage mo yan, the, the, the time na inangat niya yung kamay niya, call ka na agad eh. Doon pa lang eh. It also happens before. Mapuwa and JRU, Lozano was caging uh, Mapuwa in, in this point of us. Uh, tinaas lang din ni Clint yung kamay niya. The referee called foul. Ayun o. No? Diba? Hindi mo pwedeng i-cage yung offensive guy. So... We can see the entire Thank coaching staff of Papua. Ang inilalaban kasi nila doon, akala nila yung pasa ni Luciano kanina going to the baseline, bola nila. Akala nila bola na nila yun. Kaya niya ipin kaya ipinasok ni Coach Randy itong si Lice Camis. Pero yun pala, bola ng EAC. So a technical foul called on the coaching staff here. Mm -hmm. Improper bench decorum. Pero hindi na ipasok ni King yung unang tira. Three free throws for King Gurtiza. Isa pa, para dito kay King. Ngayon naman, si Coach Gerson bringing in some substitutions for defense here. Postanes, number 11 in the game para sa mga general. Meron pang walong segundo ang Mapua dito. Bola na kay Clint. Escami zigzagging his way to the basket. Bitin! And the end of the half. And that will do it for the first half, Coach Jerson Cabiltes. I'm very happy with that last defensive sequence. But they got the stop still. Mapua enters the dugout with a 46-44 lead. Somebody.